book nerds, welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim and today I'm going to give you a tour of my bookshelves. Just to sort of explain my living situation a little bit so you kind of get a feel for how come my bookshelves are so sporadic. I live in a basement suite with three destructive little monsters that I love to pieces. I have a very small space and I've sort of been forced to be a little bit creative with where I store things. No real choice. I really like how some people do their bookshelves. Some people do them by color and some people do them by author. Some people do them by series. I don't really have a pattern. I guess kind of, sort of, a little bit. My bookshelves are pretty raw, just kind of out there and Wherever I can make a book fit, it's going to fit. This is it. All right, guys. So let's start off with my main bookshelf. As you can see, it's guarded by gates because bunnies. Don't mind the uh, bunny litter or toys. It's sort of like having kids, I swear. Let's get started with this one. So on my top shelf, we've got sort of reference books and fun things. Over here we've got some Uncle John's bathroom readers, some figurines. Check out the Buffy. That's my little Buffy Legos. I love them. They're great. We've got some manga coming up. Big manga fan. There's a Jareth hanging out being all menacing. Dance magic dance. I've got this fun Return to Labyrinth series. I really enjoy it. And we've got some Sailor Moon. I'm a big, big fan. Some Death Note. And some random comics sort of in this corner. You can't really see them, but they're there. We've got a Dragon Ball V One Piece mashup figurine. Some Nami action. On our second shelf down, we got us some Ken Follett. Some more Sailor Moon figurines. We've got some Margaret Atwood. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This shelf is kind of a mix of contemporary and horror, I guess. It's sort of everywhere. I guess over here we've got some more literary stuff. We've got some uh, Jane, Jane Eyer. We've got some Iliad. You know, fun things. And moving down, we've got us a little bit of sci-fi and some fantasy. Moving along, we've got us some, oh this, I haven't read this yet, but I really want to. This is, you know, the Willow movie. This is like spin-offs of that, so that's fun. Patrick Rothfuss, my nemesis. He really needs to finish that series. I can be patient, I swear. Some more fantasy, little contemporary in there. Moving on down, we've got a giant collection of book sleeves. I'll talk about those one day. Some more fantasy. Oh, Terry Goodkind, so sad that he passed away. If you haven't read this series, the Sword of Truth series, it's epic, absolutely epic. Some more figurines, a little bit more contemporary over here. Giant bookmark pile. Down here we have a bunch of Bible study guides and books of that nature from my Bible study classes I took as a teen and young adult. Down here we have some kids books, sorry about the bunny gate. No choice, we got some Garfield comics. We've got those Let's Talk About books I sort of showed before. And that's really it for books down here. On this little shelf, we've got us some Game of Thrones. We've got us some Neil Gaiman, Never Ending Story, Lord of the Rings, of course, classic, absolutely classic. And then we've got our lovely Marie Kondo collection, because reasons, I'm absolutely dying to read this. I never did play the games. I've only seen the Netflix series, and I've read the, the Last Wish, but from those small exposures, I know that this is a series I'm going to love. 
on this little shelf that's sort of tucked away in my bedroom because literally guys i have books everywhere if there's a spot the books are being put on this one i've sort of got my small favorites the giver a classic uh book of negroes great story beauty and the beast based off the old tv show the help, of course, because he doesn't love a good poo pie. Uh, some Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, this, this baby here, Labyrinth. Book from the movie. Yep, that's my jam. Starship Troopers, Outsiders, Ender's Game. Some great gems hidden in this room. In my hallway, because I don't have much for space. These top two shelves here. The rest is bunny proofed. I've got some more lovely books. Up here, we've got us uh, some Harry Potter and my lovely Goosebumps collection. Some books that are to be read from some fabulous indie authors. Down here, we got us uh, some more fantasy and the Left Behind series, if you've read it. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello, Ahsoka. Thanks for joining us. You're adorable. Ahsoka. Okay, she's uh, too busy being frisky. And we're going to move along. We've got sort of a mix of fantasy over here with some horror. Um, we've got a whole lot of Stephen King. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm just going to go right along here. A whole lot of Stephen King. It, great book. If you haven't read it, watch the movie, read it, you know. More Stephen King, more Stephen King. Got a budding collection going on. Ruth Ware, great author. Pan's Labyrinth. Got some sort of classic fiction. La Morte de Arthur, my nemesis. Working my way through it. Haven't gotten very far. Very interesting read though. And of course some Shakespeare. And right here we've got graphic novels. All the graphic novels, except for how to be a boss. I don't know why that's there. And that's my bug spray. 30 Days of Night, Monstrous, whole lot of Sandman, great series. Some fun comic-esque figurines. And finally in my office space, you've got these guys here. Best Beloved Books. So these are classic tales like Tom Sawyer, Hunchback and Notre Dame. I think they're condensed. They're, uh, this is a Reader's Digest series. This series I actually got from my great-grandma on my dad's side. She had a trunk that was stored in our shed, and when she passed away, these books were given to me, so these are sort of valuable to me. One day, I have dreams. I have big dreams. I would love to have a room that is bookshelves all around, and maybe my office in there. As it stands, my sort of library is in my hallway, <laughs> but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I'd love to hear from you. What do you guys do with your bookshelf? Do you have a, a certain pattern? Do you do it by color? Do you organize it somehow? Let me know in the comments. Guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy reading.